Hi, I'm Chris Woods, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you a short exercise to help you find connecting patterns between chords, specifically in the key of A major. The exercise sounds something like this. I'm going to show you the chords, the connecting patterns between those chords, and the scales used to make up this exercise. And hopefully you can use some of that information to create your own ideas. So first of all, the chords. We're working with an A major chord here, covering the second fret on the D, G, and B. And then we're working with a B minor bar chord, with a bar across from the A string across to the E string, and then an A minor shape in front of that, covering the D and G on the fourth fret and the B string on the third fret. I'm playing connecting patterns between each chord. Now I'm gonna show you these connecting patterns as a simple ascending motif, kind of like a scale, just going from low to high. And then of course you can arrange those notes in any order you like as if improvising a melody. Now the first connecting pattern that I've created, we're working across the D and the G string, starting off covering the D second fret, G first fret. Then we move up to cover the D fourth fret, G second fret. And then D sixth fret, G fourth fret. And then finally D on the seventh fret, and G on the sixth fret. But of course you can arrange these notes in any order. Now the second connecting pattern that I've created covers the B and the E string. And we start off with third fret B, second fret E. We then put our little finger in to cover the fifth fret on the E. And then we do exactly the same thing, but shift it up to the fourth and fifth fret. So covering five on B, four on E, and then our little finger comes in to play the seventh fret on the E. So these connecting patterns have come from two scale shapes, A major and F sharp minor. I've taken notes from these scale shapes and joined them together in different combinations to create these connecting patterns. And you can do exactly the same thing. So I wanted to show you these two patterns. So we'll start with F sharp minor, where we're on the E string second fret using our first finger. And we play two, four, five. Then we go up to the A string and play two, four, five. D string, two, four. G string, we come out of position and start again with our first finger on the first fret on the G, and we play one, two, four. And we come back into position, starting again with our first finger on the B string, and we play two, three, five. And then on the E string, two, four, five. And as for the A major scale shape, we're starting on the fifth fret on the E string with our second finger, and we play five, seven, up to the A string and play four, five, seven, up to the D string playing four, six, seven, G string four, six, seven, B string five, seven, and then E string four, five. Now I hope you've enjoyed this short exercise and I hope it brings some fresh ideas to your playing.